everybody, how y'all doing this morning? You know what I'm saying? I say, I say good afternoon. You did. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, comment, and smack that dope bill for me, baby, again. You know what I'm saying? So on that note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off, and I'm going to play catch up at the end, baby. Let's go. <laughs> That's the idiot friend of Basketball Wives star, British Williams, as they walked out of the federal courthouse in St. Louis Tuesday, October 24th, 2023. The Basketball Wives star was just sentenced to four years fed time for 15 felony charges of fraud. It was just so much fraud. And just like any other high profile case, you had reporters on site documenting everything. As British and her entourage walked out the courthouse, Reporter Ryan Kroll recorded British on his cell phone. That's why the reality star talked on her own cell phone to appear busy and important. Then her Rottweiler friend tried to threaten Ryan by running up on him and acting like she was about to put hands on him. I mean a complete idiot. Like girl, how are you mad at the media for recording y'all walking out the federal building? If you didn't want to be recorded, you shouldn't have been there. Like duh. This woman was facing football numbers. On top of that, she's a so-called celebrity on a very popular reality show, and she was a St. Louis radio host. Listen, if British didn't want to be recorded coming out the federal courthouse, she shouldn't have been out there stealing and scamming. But black folks love frauds, fakes, and phonies. You're gonna always find somebody defending these pookies and pookishas. They don't care about protecting children, no, or protecting the community from criminals and destruction, but they love protecting scammers and the streets. Here's Yamanika from Comedy Hype responding to the clip as a miserable Ms. Andrews would. The comedian said, good, black women protecting black women. Ain't nobody gonna do it but us. And when I saw that, I was like, what is this lady talking about? Protect her from what, Yamanika? Nobody was doing anything to them. There was no threat on British. So what was the Rottweiler protecting British from? But British was sentenced to four years behind bars, and honestly, it really wasn't enough. I do not think she learned her lesson, and the judge knew it too. All I want to know, Yamanika, is why didn't the friend protect British from the judge and run up on the judge like that? Yeah. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Much love to St. Louis. I love my people out there. If you're watching from St. Louis, drop STL below in the comments. April 17th, I'm supposed to start trial. Okay. Um, that's not happening. Mm. Um, I think there was a miscommunication between my lawyer and the prosecutor, and she had been trying to contact him, and he had not contacted her back. Um, and I don't know if she started thinking that I'm going to trial or whatever is happening, so I'm letting them handle that situation. A couple of years ago, I reported on British Williams, her nasty attitude, her aggressive behavior towards her baby daddy, and how she was living a complete lie, acting like she was this big boss chick with all this money, but the feds came out and called her a fraud. So all the riches she appeared to have on IG, it was all a facade. She was out here scamming to make women on IG think that she was a millionaire. Yeah, and while the feds was steady watching her, she was steady scamming. In their press release, the feds revealed that her conduct was a part of a nearly decade-long series of frauds. And as you already know, these folks will watch you forever and just wait for you to keep running it up as they collect evidence on you. That's why their conviction rate is so high. At her sentencing, the federal prosecutor said that British continued scamming even after she was initially contacted and interviewed by federal agents and even after she was indicted. I mean the audacity. And I can believe it because over the last couple of years, British was out here moving like she hadn't done anything. And that's why I said she did not learn her lesson. They interviewed her years ago. She kept scamming. She was indicted in 2021 and she continued scamming in 2021 and 2022. The judge told British, quote, you knew what you were doing. You knew it was wrong and you did it anyway. British will serve four years in federal prison and will be on supervised release for five years after her release from prison. The judge also ordered her to pay back all of the money she stole. That's over $564,000 in restitution. FBI special agent in charge, Jay Greenberg of the St. Louis division said British Williams was getting paid to portray her celebrity lifestyle on Basketball Wives when in fact, she was a typical froster. 
The special agent went on to say, after today's sentencing, her reality is now a life of a felon. Yeah, 15 felonies. And anybody who would do business with this woman after all of this, whatever happens is going to be on you. Because at this point, there's no way you can see this and still deal with people. It's all out there and it's just no excuse. But hey, DJ Envy's business partner, Caesar, was also a complete fraud and all of them still worked with him. So I don't know what people are doing out here and I cannot understand why you would deal with people like this. British was out here misusing social security numbers, using fake numbers, opening up bank accounts, cashing fraudulent checks. She committed bank fraud, tax fraud by underreporting income for several years, falsely claiming her niece and nephew on her taxes and claiming that she was tax exempt. She committed insurance fraud by submitting fraudulent medical bills. She got nearly $140,000 off that. And then you know the pandemic programs turned out to be a scammer's dream. British was busted for scamming at least three programs designed for C-19 financial relief. She admitted to submitting not one, not two, not three, but nine applications for the Economic Injury Disaster Loan. That's the pandemic EIDL intended to help struggling businesses during the pandemic, but they only seem to help scammers. And of course, so many scammers just like British took the bait. The applications contain false information about business income and payroll, as well as her criminal history. Her criminal history alone disqualified her for the loan. But British lied, and out of the nine applications, she was able to get loans from two of them, totaling over $144,000. And the feds say she used that money to fund her personal extravagant lifestyle. British also received over $52,000 from four PPP loans. Then after her indictment, the reality star continued to scam. On January 3rd, 2022, she applied for the California Pandemic Relief Program, falsely claiming that she was a state resident with a total yearly household income of $50,000 and that she couldn't pay her rent due to a reduction in hours of work caused by the pandemic. And investigators found that was a lie. She received almost $28,000 from this rent assistance program. She had stopped paying rent in July of 2021 and failed to disclose that her $3,800 rent was more than reimbursed by the network for her work on Basketball Wives. Her rent was less than the $4,000 per month the network gave her, it was $3,800. So she was given more than enough. She had no business applying for a rental assistance program. And this is her lying and scamming even after she was indicted. And then she had the job with a radio station in St. Louis. She listed herself as exempt on a form resulting in no taxes being withheld from her $90,000 salary. The radio station fired her, but I don't understand why they hired her in the first place. All of these folks with broadcast degrees but they're out here giving $90,000 jobs to scammers with no experience at all just because they're some fake Z-list celebrity. But I digress, that's been going on for some years now. I don't know, British didn't learn anything from this so far. She's 33 years old now. I guess we'll see after four years, but I'm really not expecting any change from her because I haven't seen it yet. She always thought she was so smart and so slick, and that's the type of people who would submit nine EIDL applications and apply for four PPP loans. Open up multiple bank accounts with fake information. She took thousands of dollars worth of checks from other people's accounts without their knowledge and then deposited them into these phony accounts and withdrew that money, stealing thousands and thousands of dollars. Just a lot of silly stuff she did out here because she thought that she was outsmarting the feds. Even after they initially interviewed her, she thought she had them under control. The whole time though, they just kept giving her that rope. Ladies, please don't destroy your own lives watching these fakes and phonies on I'm social right, media. I'm gonna pause that video, baby, I'm gonna leave that video up there, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm gonna say this here, right? You know, it be the pretty, the pretty girls. I ain't gonna lie, it, did, it be the pretty girls be the one scamming. You know what I'm saying? It be the pretty girl that be the one like they is good at two shoes. They be the main one be cased up 
and fraudulent. I ain't lying. They, them be the main one just to try to live a loving, luxury lifestyle. Just because you want the popularity of fame. So now, check this out. Now, now you hear me? She need to ask herself, if this, if this was worth it, in her eyes, yeah. And all her friends taking trips. She driving Rolls Royces, Bentley, you know what I'm saying? Getting on a private jet, throwing party, you dig what I'm saying? I'm talking about big ballers, you know what I'm saying? All, all on TV. She had to pay away this, pay away that to get on Woo the Woo TV. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? The me. <laughs> She ain't got to worry about, she ain't got to worry about trying to be popular or, or trying to, you know what I'm saying, be famous. Nah. She got a fame. Oh, she famous now. Nah. You heard me? All on news. <laughs> she she got to go, she got to go to feds. She going to be doing, she going to be doing some numbers. You heard me? I don't know going to be football numbers, but she going to be doing some numbers. You feel what I'm saying? Because them people ain't going to care nothing about your first defender or not. You've been doing it for so long. Then you mess around got, got him that got jammed up because you thought you wasn't going to never get touched. You thought you was slicker than Dan Marino. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that, you out of gas. You know what I'm saying? You famous. You famous now. Nah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You best say on on one of them milk cartons. You feel me? But you famous. You feel me? And her friend. If I was the one recording her, and her friend would have run up on me like that, there doing all that about oh funny looking fight, <laughs> throwing her hand a little funny way. Man, I don't hit women, but I'm gonna tell you something. If she would have hit me, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't hit women now. Reflex. It's some serious boy. You heard me? I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? That's why he be papa. You feel what I'm saying? You be going to hit that ground real hard. You heard me? I stand on that. That's why, you know what I'm saying, men do not hit women, but when they do get hit, the reflex is, is dealt. I don't know what, but it's just dealt. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe sometimes you'll snap pants on how hard she hits you. You feel what I'm saying? If it hits you where you're going to, you know what I'm saying? Reflect and boom. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't been in so much altercation, somebody hit you, man, you know what I'm saying? It's easy for you to snap. You feel what I'm saying? That's why it's best for everybody to keep their hands to themselves because you don't know what type of problem that these people went through in their lifetime. You feel me? Now, 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 now what if that, who who was filming her? Now, what if she would have came up to that close to that man and that man had not went through something in his life? As soon as she ran up doing this, what he would have dropped her. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's like self-defense. If you come to like this here, you know what I'm saying? You all the mad to come in, you know what I'm saying? Like you trying to hurt this person, like you run up on this person. So this person gonna have to protect themselves. So now y'all know how the world is. Quit running up on people with your hands balled up, man, because you gonna get what your hand called for. You feel me? I stand on that, and all 10 of them. You know what I'm saying? But it be the prettiest Dumb female be the ones out there doing all the slick stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I pray whoever she she robbed. I hope every last one of them she got to pay every every last one of them people back. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's hard for a person like us trying to establish a business because we got people out there like this destroying what somebody trying to be you know to do an honest living. You feel what I'm saying? That's why it's hard for people to trust anybody because you have people like this, man. You know what I'm saying? They make it bad for the ones like us trying to establish a legal business. You feel what I'm saying? It make, they make it hard for us. You feel what I'm saying? So they want to go up under the radar, radar, you feel what I'm saying? And they want to start scamming and scheming people. You got to understand. The FBI, the Fed, they'll let you keep doing for about a year or two years, three years. Guess what they're doing? You think you're getting away with it, but they're going to pile all the evidence on you. You know what I'm saying? They don't care who you is. You feel what I'm saying? And you're going to be doing football numbers. You heard me? But, you know, she ain't got to worry about getting paid for no TV show now. 
<laughs> oh, man. You you try like you're a movie star. You got your girl. You jump in the backseat like you like you dissing. You got guess what? You better hope your same people run into you that car like that like they your bodyguard or something. You, you know what I'm saying? You better hope. You know what I'm saying? Them people got enough money for you. Cause if you don't have that paper paper by time you get ready to hit that jail face and that jail get ready to act for that bad bag and you don't have it, all of it. Oh yeah, definitely. They gon' they gonna give you some time. Now if you got it, she, all of it was she spun. Now she got a 50 50 chance that she get it all back. You know what I'm saying? And then they'll probably make her do a year, two years, and then she'll be like on papers. You feel what I'm saying? But if you ain't got none of it, oh yeah, it's gonna be five, six years, seven years. You know what I'm saying? You go on federal prison, believe me. Federal prison don't give out no game time like that. Federal prison might give you five percent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's fake. You hear me? They'll, they'll do like the regular prison. Regular prison now probably they give you like 10, 10%. I don't know. I ain't been locked up so long, so I don't know how the game going on. Like, think about it. I ain't trying to pull it up and I ain't trying to figure out what they do, how they do. I know back in our days, back in the 80s and 90s, you go to prison, you know what I'm saying? They give you 80 day game time. Now, I don't know. I know Fed, Fed's always been fired. 5%, 10%. Now they don't put down the 5%. Now, you know what I'm saying? Now, the regular prison, I don't know nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's been so long, but you know what I'm saying? People got to understand, man. People make it bad for other people, man, to, to, to progress what they want in their life, to receive what they need in their life because you have people around the world, man, do stupid stuff. That's why it's hard for people to emo try to invest their money into people because you got Pretty girls like this. Stupid. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're trying to look good, you want to show out, you want to live in a nice place and whatever, woo, 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 guess what? You got to crawl for your walk, baby. You hear me? That's a fact. You hear me? But anyway, my good people, you know what I'm saying? That's the end. I'm going to scratch that. That's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment. And smack that dough bill for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. On this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all come and let me know something. You know what I'm saying? I'm gone, my good people. I'm gone.